Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Today we'll be making tags for our scrapbooks and journals. So stay with me to the very end because I want to show you how to create this very unusual tag that has not one, but three pages to it. I'll be revealing two binding techniques and interesting ways of making sure that this tag does not get thrown out with the gift wrap should you choose to use it as a gift tag. So let's get crafting. The first thing you'll need is six tags of varying lengths. And if you don't have any on hand, I have some right here for you. If you click on the link below, I have these amazing tags that you can download for free. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christine and we are currently in the Sage Collection, which is a compilation of videos that show you how to set up your scrapbook journals for the year. If you like this aesthetic, then make sure you wait till the end of this video because I will have more videos that show you how to set up this journal. The download you see here is a sneak peek of the paper collection I will be launching in June. It's my own design of what I envision the Sage Collection to look like and I want to share this amazing collection with you. Until then, go ahead and download that free printable in the description box below so that you can get started on your own botanical journey. I would however love your feedback. It's so important to me that I know how you feel and what you think of the products I'm putting out. So please feel free to do that in the comment section below. So all you have to do here is cut up the tags and you'll see here I have different sizes because this one tag that has three pages are staggered. And the reason why I stagger them is because I am a tag topper girl. <laughs> I don't know if that's even a thing, but I love putting toppers on my tags. And to me, they're like the bling on your tag. So that's why this is tapered and staggered. So here are the tags. What you wanna do is take your glue and glue the back sides together. I couldn't find my glue stick. This is my kid's glue stick. <laughs> I love my children. They're allowed in my craft room anytime. I just wish they would return everything when they use it. <laughs> That's okay, they're still young, they're learning. <laughs> so this tag here I actually made um, before this video. And if you wanna know how to make this tag that showcases dried flowers, then make sure you click on the link above or wait till the end of this video so you can watch that video. So when we were talking about elements of how to make sure that the recipient of this tag doesn't throw out this tag, especially if you use it as a gift tag, that's one of them. Put some funky dried flower window in your tag and they'll be like, oh, I gotta keep this. <laughs> or you could use that window as a place to put a photo of your family, of yourself, whatever it may be. So it's not just a tag with the backside saying to and from. This one really jazzes it up. Now, these are tags from the download. I chose not to use them in this example, but you can use these just by themselves. You can see I have some journaling tags there for you. So yeah, don't throw those out. You can use these in whichever way you want to use them. This is what I mean by tag toppers. If you like that idea of using wax seals as tag toppers, you can actually watch a video at the end of this video because these tag toppers are not wax. They're something else. And watch the video at the end that will show you how to make these. Okay, so here is the washi tape binding technique. And you have one of two choices. You can actually use the washi tape on the outside of the tag, or like you see here, I'm going to use the washi tape on the inside of the two tags. And I'm gonna use it here lengthwise. You can do it vertical if you want. I'm choosing not to use it on the outside, but you can if you want. It always adds a little bit more interest to the tag. Now the next binding technique aside from this one is one of my favorites. It's a hinge technique and you don't have to go to any craft store to buy these hinges. I actually went to my local hardware store to find these hinges and they're a fraction of the cost. These ones are one inch hinges. Ideally, if your tags are smaller, you probably want to find like three quarter hinges, but these, these will do, these are perfectly fine. And it comes with nails. Obviously we're not going to use the nails. In this case, you could use brads, but I'm not even going to use the full brad because if I did, it would poke out through the other side. So I'm actually just going to use double-sided tape to adhere the hinges to the tags. I mean, really, what are you going to do with these? You don't necessarily need to bolt them in. <laughs> So yeah, like, I mean, double-sided tape, especially the Sukwang stuff is like using nails. It's pretty sturdy. 
So what you can do here is just leave it just like that. Like that's beautiful. But if you feel like you want to have that look of um, a finished look, you can use gems or you could actually use the brads here. But I'm going to cut off the brad tails. I don't know what that, <laughs> what that would be called, but you know what I'm talking about. Like I'm only keeping the top of the brad. So yeah, you see they're pretty much the same size as the nails. But And what I'm going to do is just take these wire cutters and cut the tops off or the bottoms off and then adhere them with, in this case, I'll use glossy accents, whatever glue system you use. Dab that in there and there you go. Now, the one thing I love to use for handling mini art like gems and crystals is this rhinestone picker dotting pen. You gotta get one of these <laughs> because I don't know, maybe my fingers, like as you get older, you can't, like your manual dexterity goes with you. I don't know. Anyways, I find it just makes it so much easier to place these little gems or, or the tops of these brads where they need to go. So gotta get one of these. You can find them on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box below. Now, isn't this cool? You don't have to use all this. I just want to show you some cool binding techniques that you can use in any of your scrapbook projects. After you do this, you just add your tag toppers and decorate as you want. Now, with this paper collection, I tried to make it neutral because I want your creativity to be the center stage here. It's more of a backdrop, so you'll notice that the colors are a little mute, more muted, just so that when you do decide to decorate it, it's your creativity and your art that actually shines through. This is just a starting point for you to get going. I really hope you like this video. Make sure you try this technique and this staggered tag technique. Add it to your gifts and let's see what the recipients say. I'd love to see you in the next videos. So take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.